Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Hey guys, so welcome back to Kayla Squad. And we did something actually really exciting. And this is the video that you guys have been waiting for. This is a video that I've been waiting for to do. So I'm gonna basically, I didn't, we weren't typically like physically not allowed to film during the ghost tour, uh, but our tour guide did allow us, but I just never really attempted to. Um, but I do have some video footage and tons of photos that I'm just gonna put in this and basically kind of explaining everything that happened because what happened was crazy because we did have a ghost that appeared in one photo of ours. Uh, actually several, but I only have one physically. Um, and then I have a video of, two videos of a curtain moving and we already checked, um, but that's for another part of this video. So if you guys didn't know, like, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on so you guys never miss a video when I upload because you don't wanna miss out on this amazing YouTube video because this was this was gonna be great. Oh, sorry, just uh, woke up because we got home late last night. So where we went last night was the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It was made in 1886, and it was really it, it's beautiful and it's huge. Huge. Sorry, this this stand is broken, and so I'm trying to trying to use it to give me better lighting because it's very gloomy outside. But we went down to the Crescent Hotel for my sister's birthday because she's been wanting to do um go down there, not do, but go down there, and we finally did for her birthday. So we did a ghost tour. We were going to spend the night, but there were no rooms because there was like five weddings happening last night. But, uh, <clears throat> so, well, first let me just start off that when we got there, it was, the inside of it was really like old fashioned like 1886 theme style. And... Um, the people in there are just really nice and stuff like that. And yeah. And then, um, sorry, my ear really itches. And then they told us to go to the fourth floor We got, um, for our ghost tour. And we got there a little bit early. And so we were like, okay. And so we decided to actually um, to go on the other side of the hotel so basically in their backyard and just kind of see what you know that is like what it looks like and i was actually looking for the grave of the first cat that owned the hotel um whenever he was he ran it for 20 years basically he was an orange tabby um morris he's actually really cool and they have a little grave for him in the backyard and it's in a, it's a nice spot um, then we get outside, and then we immediately spot their new cat owner, Jasper. Jasper was, he's pretty sweet. Uh, basically, while we were petting him, he never, like, opened his eyes. Um, but he does look like one of our old cats, Scratcho. Uh, I'll have, like, you know, like, the video of the cat and then a photo of my cat, Scratcho. Kind of like a comparison. Of, they look pretty similar. I am so tired. And uh we we pet we petted him for a little bit and then we finally went out in the backyard kind of looking around and just looking at the amazing view of just the mountain the treetops and the mountains and, and the hills and and we eventually find the grave. The grave was just gorgeous. People would put things down because this cat was known at the Crescent Hotel. He was he was famous and um, it was nice to know that he was 
the first manager. They, uh, our tour guide said that there were several cats before, and yes, there was. Um, there were, so whenever Jasper was there, there was another ghost, uh, not ghost, there was another cat that came with Jasper, and then that cat finally left the hotel, so it was only, so Jasper kind of just stayed because, um, he's lazy, basically. Uh, that's what our tour guide kept saying. He's lazy, he doesn't really, like, interfere with the guest. Um, if he wants outside, he won't use the cat door that was put in for Morris and that the other cats did use. Um, but he doesn't, he just sleeps. And... Yeah, I was like, okay, well, uh, but, um... We finally get to our tour part and she we're in this little cute room the lights are kind of off um, the ceiling fans got like really dimmed lights and there's candles lit fake candles and then there's like poster like picture poster looking things um, of a little boy I already forgot his name and his grandpa him riding a horse and then there was like a little poster, billboard, little thingy. It was on a chair and it was the ladies who were, the girls who attended the uh, Crescent College Women's School. That was before it was, you know, I'm not gonna get there yet. And then there was, um, there was another poster, but I forgot it was what it was. And <clears throat> it was really pretty inside. And she was just giving us, she was telling us about uh, what we would expect, the history behind before we actually got to go through the tour. Um, but she did, you know, tell us the history whenever we got to rooms or we got to... We didn't get to go inside the room because people spend the night in those rooms. But <clears throat> after that history lesson happened... Because that history lesson I'm actually going to go with because I have some photos. I didn't get a photo of one of the doors. And I'm just going to kind of explain it because it's our first stop that we did. So the first stop we did was actually, before we even went there, I actually knew about her. Because my sister really, really wanted this purse, this ghost, to come to our house and clean our house. So she was, um, I don't remember if she was like a nurse or something, but she did attend during the Norman Baker Cancer Hospital. And I think, I think so. I think I'm thinking about the right person because there's several people. And she would stand in front of her door and she was always digging for her keys whenever she passed away. Uh, people, the tour guide, I already forgot her name. She would literally say, um, that people would go by that door and they would ask it, this woman who's dressed up all fancy, like all, you know, 1886, 1869 style. And, and uh, they would ask her, what is she looking for? And she would say, dearie, I'm looking for my keys. And they're kind of confused because actually that door doesn't have locks and it doesn't have a doorknob on it. And they didn't know that they just encountered a ghost because that door and lock, it's actually on the other side. But that is her room. So if she doesn't like you, she'll pack her bags and put it um, by the door. So it's really cool. And then what happened next is that was on the fourth floor. That was basically all what we got from the fourth floor. So when we walked out of that room, we literally turned, we went left because the door was like on this side. Okay, so this is the hallway. Okay, it was on this side. And so we walked out and we turned this way and the door was like right there. And we, we stood there, we got a little lesson and yeah. Then we got to see a photo of her. She was pretty. And then we went to the third floor, and the third floor was awesome. So what happened in the third floor, this one is actually a really cool story, and I'm really excited to say. So what happened in this floor is we got to the corner spot, and basically our tour guide told my little sister to not stand by her, um, Octavia. So she didn't stand by her, but we didn't know why. Um, 
We would love to know why, but she said anybody else could stand by her, so we were so confused. So she said in that whole way, that is where the Norman Baker cancer stuff kind of happened. So there was a nurse who had like a little cart and it would, she was always carrying bodies. And they were draped in a cloth and you would see her around 3 a.m. Um, and people, there there was a couple of guys, I guess, and they got, they, one of the guys saw it at 3 a.m. because, you know, he couldn't sleep so he wanted to go get ice or something. I don't remember the story clearly. And they saw this, this literally, she he saw this nurse ghost go by and she turned right. And, uh, I'm like, oh gosh, but I would only, like, stay up until 3 a.m. to just see that. <laughs> um, and then, that happened in that hallway, I actually have, but we actually have something that's really cool. And so, if, where the direction she came from, that used to be where he would torture his patients, saying that he could cure cancer. Um, he would, he had, like different ingredients and something that's like that actually if you touch it to your skin is it'll just just destroy your skin and so people were screaming so he made it into a soundproof room and so it was, that's why there was always bodies coming out in the nurse um it was also still the women's college school thing and they had norman baker there for a reason i don't to remember the reason why he was there but he was there and then uh, and then, um, whenever, after the Norman Baker Cancer Hospital and stuff like that, it was a hotel, and the original owners, um, they, uh, basically turned that area into suites, like hotels, uh, honeymoon suites, my bad, yeah, and this newly married couple, I think they were the owners at the time. Nope, I'm thinking about different people. Okay, so they, well, she was trying on different clothes and her husband was taking photos and the TV was off, okay? And whenever they got home, they looked at the photos and they saw in the TV that there was a woman upside down and they knew that that TV was off at the time. So they sent a photo to, uh, they asked the Crescent Hotel people and the managers and saying, hey, do you want to see this photo that we took? And they were like, yeah. So they sent it to them. And the this is actually what I was trying to say, and I didn't mean to say this, that one first. That's story. Really, but the owners, they had their honeymoon suite in that. And the woman, his wife, looked up and she goes, I don't want to sleep here anymore. There's a woman at the end of her bed. So that's why... And he didn't believe her. So whenever they were told that there was a woman in white upside down in the TV, they basically were like, I want to see this photo. And she goes, that is the woman that I saw on the end of our bed. They weren't married at the time whenever that photo was taken. Uh, so whenever that happened, um, then we went to the second floor. The second floor is the room that the floor that I am super excited to talk about because this is the floor that has the one person that I don't even know how to explain because it's an amazing floor. Second floor has so much that goes on in it. Um, so yeah, you guys ready to hear about the? second floor so what's happening in the second floor is tons of stuff there's tons of negative and positive energy that happens in the second floor and so basically what happened in the second floor is Michael's room yes sweet old Michael if you guys didn't hear about don't know anything really about the Crescent Hotel during whenever the Crescent Hotel was being built there uh, architects like I don't like builders I guess they were on the roof and there was a young woman walking by one day Michael was 17 at the time and he was attracted to young he was attracted to women okay and he saw her and she uh never looked back at him anything he 
basically like waved and smiled at her and he tripped he fell hit the railing or something something part of that room and that's why it's called his room and he died to his death so uh everybody women always want that room because michael is attracted to women and yeah uh he'll mess with the water he'll make it hot or cold you know he'll mess with everything and he'll you'll see him in the hallways in front of his door you know dancing and yeah but that is that was his room it's 218 so it's really cool on the second floor and then um sorry people are sending me things and then uh a little bit more further down in 212 there was a doctor an actual doctor at the time and he smoked cherry tobacco so he didn't die at the that crescent hotel but um apparently people can smell the cherry tobacco coming from that room okay so he yeah, that's about it and then going past the stairs there was the kids area so the little boy you know that poster i was saying that little boy he actually died he was fourth eight four years old at the time and and that wing you people would see him playing and bouncing a ball i mean kids are people are always like where did that little boy go you know like talking about him and stuff like that and so basically it's a little ghost boy he died at the age of four um and basically you can also feel morris the cat him uh over in that area kind of playing with the little boy so yeah that's like the child wing and actually a funny story um the dresser that's in that area uh, my sister pulled it and something was pulling against her in that dress she was opening the drawer so that was a little bit creepy because uh, yeah so whenever you go down to the first floor of the lobby we were brought to the fireplace area where the photo of the two women were taken uh, but um there was a photo of Morris the cat and it was in that area you'll probably see his photo a couple of times in this video and all it was it was just really special the fireplace that was really creepy it wasn't even like there was no fire there was no nothing it was hot like it was coming like, like there was heat coming out of that fireplace it was really creepy um but yeah so then our tour guide took us outside and this is probably everybody's favorite part going to be she took us outside we went around the hotel into basically where um, norman baker did surgery where he did autopsies where he would put the bodies in that room was actually really scary we got to go into the room that he put dead bodies in uh so when we first get in there we are seated down seated down and she was kind of giving us a little bit of a history about norman she was showing us photos of him that they have posters around in his little area and the sign that he had outside funny story about that sign the tour guide did say that it looks like mother nature kind of took ahead of it and that's why that the cure it's cancer cure and then like i forgot what the rest said um but the cure is, is like all rusted you can't see it um so it's really weird and so basically it's like a little room then you go into a hallway and she made us turn right in that area is where they found in 2019 they found vials of things that they think that norman baker used um they had cure number five in there and they had several different ways and our tour guide says every time she looks at cure number five it's always a different color it's always a different it's always different sorry this thing's finally like killing my foot uh sorry so it's always different and so that happened 
we looked at that. My mom actually has a photo where she had her arm out and in there's like in the glass you can see like it's like really creepy and it is like a head. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, shadow, like not even a shadow, but there was like nobody uh, close to her arm. So it was really weird to so see that their reflection through that plexiglass area couldn't get their reflection off of. Uh, so that happened. And then we, she took us to where to the autopsy where the meat room was. Um, it was a kitchen. And he goes, this is the perfect place. I have a photo of the original drain that the blood and stuff like that all went down. And I have a photo of where people assumed where he did the autopsies, but it's actually not. He did it above the drain. And then I have several photos with me and my sister in the meat room. That room is actually really scary. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that was scary. And she told us to take photos in the mirrors because people actually get a ghost vibe in the mirror photos. And so we did, and nothing really happened to mine. My mom freaking photo like ruined my photo. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't get any ghostly things. Um, my family members did. So that's, I'm like, I feel like I was just, you know, wanting something to happen in my photos and it just didn't happen. Um, I didn't witness any ghostly vibe. Actually, I did. I did feel something. So that, but that's, that's coming on. <laughs> uh, so we kind of took photos. Me and my sister took some selfie mirror, um, mirror selfies and stuff like that. And then we finally left and we wanted to go through it again. Kind of like just go we wanted to go to the child's wing just to see if we would see the little boy or feel Morris so we uh my we went to the restroom and we me and my sisters are waiting on them getting in the bathroom and it's called I think it's like Crescent College Women something I already forgot what it says and it was like a little room. It was really beautiful inside. And there was no air conditioning. There was no doors open. And the tablecloth were moving. So that was creepy. So that happened. And then we went on to the second floor where Michael's room is, where the little children's ring is. So we took, that's where we felt the dresser kind of pull against us and nothing really happened so we kind of took a photo of the dresser just in case if we would see a ghost in the photo and we didn't ah uh, but then we uh and we wanted to see the curtain and the curtain was in the hallway i think that curtain yeah we went up an extra floor that I'm thinking yeah I think we went upstairs again uh so when we were in that hallway the children's wing me and my little sister just kind of wanted to go in front of Michael's room and we stood right next to each other and we kind of felt something in between us so it was really really scary and my little sister is seven so it was just it was so different like it was weird and then we finally went to where we saw the curtain move. And um, during the tour, my stepmom got a photo, a video of the curtain moving. We went to go check if there's any air or anything blowing on it, seeing if the fan was causing it to blow. But it didn't make sense because the other side of the curtain didn't make a move. So we were, were still very skeptical about it, um, very confused about it, and it was just moving. Um, I don't remember where my one, my, <clears throat> Tori, uh, she got a fo photo, I think it was in front of that, it was from a distance, but it was towards the dresser, 
and we have a ghost face in it so yes i'm very excited to show you guys that is it's, it's kind of hard to tell because it was from a it was a very long distance but she did get something we had a orb my mom has an orb i'm in a photo and it was just it was so creepy i would definitely do it again and maybe just not act like i want some ghostly vibe um you know but during whenever we first started the tour we were getting that history background history something kept playing with my hair and i had it was out like this and um it just kept moving and then my hair was braided really cute i took it out last night because I was let's get a shower and so uh, um jeez I forgot what I was gonna say and my hair like this part of the hair right here was out like this and it just kept being moved and part of my hair kind of felt weird so then I just kind of put it back and then I felt it get moved in front of me again. I kept fighting with it like the whole entire time. And I was like, <laughs> there's people behind me. My mom was my mom's stepdad. And I was just freaking moving my messing with my hair because somebody was messing with my hair. Uh that was basically oh no. So whenever we uh so towards the end of our night, my mom and my dad, they were kind of just waiting on us getting done with like rechecking out the uh and my stepdad and they were kind of just done waiting on us uh not done they were just waiting on us outside whenever we were checking the children's wing and stuff like that um and there was a couple who were outside and they were sitting outside and they looked up at their room and they know for a fact that their room's light was off and <clears throat> and um uh, and they were so confused. My mom said that they watched the lights flicker, not flicker, but turned on. And then the lady also said she was 100% sure that the, the curtains were open. They were clearly closed. I have a photo of that room, so I'm really excited to show you guys. And they were, they were sitting right next to my parents. And yeah, my, my dad and my mom. And they were really nice. And she was so confused why their curtains were closed and their light was on so I, I feel really bad for them uh but yeah so basically i hope you guys liked today's video it was amazing and it was definitely something out out of this world so yeah Bye guys, hope you guys like, subscribe, turn that post notification bell so you guys never miss another video when I upload. And once you do that, you're a part of the Kayla squad forever. And uh, this is a video that I've been holding on for you guys. And we finally did it last night. And I'm really excited. Bye. Stay away from the cat. Bye. This cat is the famous cat. Your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it look like Groucho? Mm -hmm. so. It does look like Groucho. He also hasn't woken up with just everyone touching him. Because he's petrified. He's probably so used to it. All the ghosts probably touch him. I would assume. I mean, they're not I've never played with bumblebees. You know the honeybees are normal ones. Yeah, we like honeybees. So, uh, this is another jerk. Come here. I don't want to miss it. You're used to it. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> I'm already shaky. Yeah. Um, hi guys. I'm really scared of this. Yes, exactly. Well, whenever you walk, it feels like 
feels like the floor is sinking in. Why is this so scary? What floor are we on? Oh, I think we're going to keep going up though. Well, nothing's happened yet. I haven't felt anything. There was a creepy guy when we first walked in. I, he was like an old man. No. The thing. <laughs> Ew, it smells really bad. I'm watching the buttons. It really does smell bad. It does not I smell feel like I can time. smell something. It does not smell like this when we were in town last week. But I don't like the sounds it's, it's making. Gross. Please let me out. <laughs> I was walking, I was walking on the freaking thing and then something wet was